And so the United Kingdom goes to polls on December 12th. How is it different from other elections held across the world? Let's break it down for you in our next report. The United Kingdom is a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy. Queen Elizabeth II is head of state. She has limited powers and is politically impartial. Parliament is divided into two houses, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Both make laws, scrutinize government and debate current issues. The two-chamber system is designed to act as a check and balance for both houses. The countdown to a British general election starts with the Prime Minister paying a ceremonial visit to the Queen to formalize the dissolution of Parliament. This used to be a constitutional necessity, but it's now purely a courtesy call, following the introduction of fixed-term parliaments in 2011. A political party that wins an overall majority in the House of Commons, with 326 seats or more, at a general election forms the new government, and its leader becomes Prime Minister. As a general rule, if no party wins an absolute majority, the party with the largest number of seats may form a government by forging an alliance with one or more of the smaller parties, such as the Liberal Democrats, the Scottish National Party or the Eurosceptic Brexit Party. And staying with news from the United Kingdom, 25 migrants have been found in a refrigerated container on a ferry traveling from the Netherlands to UK. The ferry that is run by DFDS Seaways, a Danish shipping company, was seized at a Dutch port of Lardingen. The driver of the ferry has been arrested, while the nationality of the migrants are currently unknown. It is being said that mostly they are male. One of the reports also suggests that one of the migrants is a child. The ship was met by 20 ambulances where two of the migrants were taken to the hospital for possible hypothermia. The other 23 received medical checkup at the port before being taken to the police. Remember, just a month ago, 39 bodies of Vietnamese nationality were discovered at the back of a refrigerated truck near London in Essex. While the investigation is still on, two people have been charged in Britain, eight and eight in Vietnam over the deaths. The container had arrived on a ferry that was coming from Belgium.